In what will arguably be the Bobcats' toughest conference road game of the season, Ohio leads for the majority of the game Saturday afternoon, but falls late, 68 to 63. Ohio drops to one and two in the conference, while Akron improves to three and zero. Oh. A very physical game played today. 51 total fouls were called, but unfortunately for Bobcat faithful, the majority of those went Akron's way. Akron shot 44 free throws today, compared to just 21 for Ohio. 29 of 44 today, Akron shot from the line. That was the big number today in a five-point game. Akron got 15 more points from the foul line. They were led in scoring today by Zeke Marshall, Ohio. Really no answer for the Zips. Big guy, four different players fouled out for Ohio, including John Smith, who had a really nice game against Buffalo, followed up with one of his worst games. Five fouls, fouled out in just limited minutes. Keeley also fouled out. So did Walter Offit, and so did Evo Baltic. Poor shooting woes once again doomed the Cats, just 35% shooting, just 5 of 21 from three-point range now. Starting to become more and more of a trend now, this Ohio team not shooting the ball well, especially in MAC play, especially from three-point range. Two big keys coming into this Saturday afternoon contest for Coach Gross and his team. Take care of the ball and play with that same tenacity, that toughness they played against with Buffalo. And check both those things off the list. Ohio only turned the ball over nine times, so remarkably better than what they did on the road last week against Bowling Green when they had 21 turnovers. At the end of the game, Coach Gross not disappointed in his team's toughness, not disappointed in the team's loss in any way. They did what they had to do coming in, just tip their cap to Akron. Well, I thought our guys this week played as hard as they played all season. They were unbelievable Wednesday night against Buffalo. I thought our effort was good again tonight. We were tough. That's going to serve us well, I think, moving forward if we continue to choose to be so. We just didn't, you know, didn't make enough plays. They made a few more. It was a really hard-fought game, and unfortunately, we came out on the losing end. We're fine. Um, this is basketball. You know, you win some, you lose some. We, uh, you know, uh, as long as our effort is good and we're moving towards a good direction, we're going to be fine. Ohio today, four different scores and double figures today, led by DJ Cooper, 13 points, but he did not have a very good game, just two of 15 shooting. He's also been one of the cold shooters for Ohio in the recent stretch. He still had 13 points, eight of nine shooting from the line. Ohio led the majority of this game, but they fell apart late. A lot of that seemed to be the team just losing their composure down the stretch. Two technical fouls were called in Ohio down the stretch, an intentional foul on Offit on a Satinovich breakaway, and also DJ Cooper in a double technical with Zeke Marshall. Ohio seemed to lose their cool a little bit down the stretch. Akron didn't. At the end of the day, Akron was able to finish this one off, winning by five, 68 to 63 over the Bobcats. These two teams rematch February 25th at the Convo, but next up for Ohio, another MAC contender invades the Convocation Center, Kent State, on Wednesday night, 7 o'clock. We'll see you there for the Bobcat Sports Showcase. I'm Blake Brody.